Paul had left his superiors hanging when he told them the identity of the art thief. He hadn't given them any more information. He merely signed off and got on the next flight to Toronto. He hadn't really decided what he was going to do if he encountered his wife at the airport. He had no proof that she'd actually stolen the painting, but he knew she had, the same way she knew he'd be assigned this mission. She was brilliant. Absolutely. From the mysterious chess games even before the mission, right through to the golden spiral on the forgery hanging in the gallery. It was flawless. Paul had come to realize none of this was about possession. It wasn't about money. And it wasn't about power. She would never be so prosaic. She made her point, and she was going home. But he also knew there was one more stop she had to make on the way. One more loose end. And that was how he knew where to find her now. He had no doubt that she would be expecting him to find her. Whether she would let him approach her was irrelevant. He could try to walk up to her now and confront her. But what was the point of that? The communication taking place between them was deeper than anything words could accomplish. All he really wanted to do was see her before she got on the flight to London, if only to prove to himself that it was her, and confirm what he had to do next. And as he watched her walk to her plane, he could literally feel her drawing away. Finding his wife in London was not a problem for Paul. He'd managed to catch the next flight after her and made it into the city by morning. He knew the hotel. London was a city they both frequented, her especially in her work with physics, and he knew where she'd be staying. There was, of course, the possibility that she'd choose elsewhere, but the fact was there was no logical reason for it. His knowing where she was staying wasn't going to stop her from finishing her job. And when the concierge recognized Paul, he readily handed him a room key, none the wiser.
What he expected to find in the room was anyone's guess. Being as thorough as she was, Paul didn't expect her to make any mistakes. And if there was anything to find, it was either because she wanted him to, or she simply no longer cared. For Paul, completing the mission was no longer about his original objective. His original objective had been to protect the National Gallery from theft, not something he could do anything about now. Since that event had already come and gone, Paul's new objective was simply to observe her fulfilling the end phase of her own mission. He pretty well knew what that was. It was just a matter of finding out where in the city she was going to do it. Ever since the second electromagnetic pulse, Paul had realized that the painting they had all been worried about had already been stolen. The moment Paul discovered the flaw in the painting, he knew it was a forgery. And the second blackout was not his wife stealing the painting, but returning it. That was how he knew to find her in London. Detonating an electromagnetic pulse to black out an entire city and steal a painting was a monumental task. In his wife's line of work, knowing how to generate a pulse would be easy. But Paul realized it would be impossible for his wife to borrow a helio coil, ship it to another continent, and hide it without someone to deliver it. Whoever had dropped it off would have to know where to pick it up when she was done. And that was the message she was passing now. <laughs> 